Now at five, family and friends are gathering to remember Samuel Collington. The Temple College senior was shot and killed during an attempted carjacking while heading back to school after Thanksgiving. And as the family mourns, the Temple community is looking for ways to protect students. It's Thursday night. The big story on Action News is a tribute to a student who had a bright future ahead. Action News reporter Andy McCormick is live at Interboro High School in Prospect Park with more on the vigil that's underway there. Annie. Yeah, Rick and Shari, that's right. Right now at the podium, friends and family talking about their beloved friend, Samuel Collington, who was killed as he was coming home from Thanksgiving break. I just want to give you a look at the crowd of people here. This goes from 4.30 to 7. This is just the initial crowd. They then will light candles and walk over to the library where they will then meet together and help each other mourn. A vigil for Samuel Collington, the 21 year old Temple University student killed after returning to his off campus apartment from Thanksgiving break. The Prospect Park native, a political science student, worked in the city commissioner's office and planned to attend law school. He was remembered for his ambition and zest to learn. His aunt saying this moments before the vigil began. This is for um, to support the people that knew him that are just crushed by this senseless act. Um, and as anybody would know, when you go through a tragedy, you need support. The 17 year old suspect Latif Williams surrendered to police yesterday. The juvenile faces a slew of charges, including murder, and police are investigating his possible link to three other carjackings near the same location where Collington was killed. Do we think he was responsible for the carjackings that were happening in that area? Yes, we do. Williams was also charged with a July gunpoint carjacking, but the victim, who apparently knew Williams, did not appear in court, so charges were with Withdrawn. A spokesperson for the district attorney's office tells 6 ABC that case is still under investigation and charges could be refiled. There is a lot we could say, but we have no words for that right now. All we want to do is focus on his memory. In the city of Philadelphia this year, since Monday, sources tell 6 ABC internal numbers show 637 carjackings this year. In 471 of those crimes, the suspect was armed. And while they continue to focus on his memory, he has friends from high school, from college, from working in the commissioner's office. So many that are coming out here today. In fact, some members of the community donating enough pizzas and hot chocolate for 600 people once they take that vigil over to the library. Also tonight, Temple University holding a virtual meeting to talk about safety on campus. For now, reporting live in Prospect Park, Annie McCormick, Channel 6 Action News. Rick.